The Su-22 UM-3K gives the German Air Tree in War Thunder a top-tier supersonic strike fighter. Let's check it out. The large family of variable geometry ground attack jets, which started with the original Su-17, has spawned many versions of the same basic design, and we get a few of them in War Thunder, which I've covered already with full reviews. Here, we're looking at the UM-3K, which was an updated, combat-capable trainer version intended for export customers. This plane was a late model of the basic two-seater trainer introduced from the late 1970s up through the early 1980s. This version was used by about half a dozen export customers, and it saw combat with several of them. Among the distinguishing features compared to the other two-seat models of the plane include the full weapons and avionics package taken from the Su-17 M3 and some improved safety features. A small number of these planes still fly for Poland. What we have in War Thunder is a strike aircraft in rank 7 of the German Air Tree at battle rating 11.0. Like the other Su-17 derivatives, the plane only carries a radar rangefinder, but its weapon system includes a full ballistics computer for all of its air-to-ground weapons. Speaking of which, the loadouts on this plane are pretty interesting. You can take a very wide selection of weapons in a lot of different combinations, but I suspect that once the custom loadout system is implemented, this jet is going to grow in popularity a bit due to the variations of weapons it's going to be able to carry. A notable difference from the single-seat versions of the plane is that one of the cannons is gone, so this jet only has one gun. The only air-to-air -air missile you get is the R-60, which is a pretty solid 30G short-range IR dogfight missile. For air-to-ground weapons, you get the usual assortment of bombs and rockets, but you also get a pretty good selection of guided missiles. The first is the familiar KH-23M, a simple manual command guided weapon. The S-25L is a somewhat recent addition to the game and is a slow laser guided air to ground missile. The KH-25ML is my personal favorite and it combines effective range, speed, and a decent warhead. The big dog, of course, is the KH-29L, with its enormous 148 kilogram warhead. Anything you can get a direct hit on with these is just gone. The flight performance of the Su-22 UM-3K is very similar to other jets in the Su-17 family. It's reasonably fast, maneuverable enough with the wings unswept, and it has a good rate of climb, but the controls don't respond very well at especially low or high speeds. Flying out into air battles gives you a pretty robust and flexible ground attack mission with weapons that are well suited for bombing bases, mopping up ground targets, or even both at the same time. If you really want, you can even fly out with up to six R-60 air-to-air -air missiles and use this as a fighter, which can be surprisingly effective. My personal preference, as with the other Su-17 jets, is to focus on base bombing and then follow up on air targets. But whatever kind of mission you want to fly, this is absolutely a plane that can get you there. One big difference from the other Su-17s is that this one gets 128 countermeasures, literally 10 times as many as the Su-22 M3. Not bad. Now, if you fly out its close air support, you've got just as many options, but honestly, it's probably more a question of how many spawn points you can get. All the guided missiles cost the same, so again, my personal preference is the loadout of the four KH-25 MLs, which seems to strike a balance between firepower and quantity of weapons, but whichever one you prefer, you're going to be able to get it as long as you meet that initial threshold of spawn points. One thing to consider is that since this version has more countermeasures, it might not be a bad idea to drop them pretty generously if you fly out as close air support. SPAA units are incredibly effective at the top tiers, as I'm sure you know, 
So anything you can do to make it just a little bit harder for them to lock you up with radar or missiles will be effort very well spent. Visually, as with other SU-17 versions, I really like the look of this jet. Unfortunately, you don't get any custom paint jobs or anything, but over time, the community might come up with some good ones. No special caveats to landing this plane or with the cockpit compared to the other versions. To close out on the SU-22 UM-3K. This jet gets very powerful air-to-ground weapons in a great selection of loadouts. It has 10 times as many countermeasures as the other SU-22, and the flight performance is very strong. However, it doesn't get an auto-tracker for the laser, which makes using the missiles a bit more difficult in close air support, and it only has one cannon with only 80 rounds. The final verdict on the SU-22 UM-3K is that this jet fills a gap and gives players something they desperately needed, a competitive top-tier jet suitable for close air support in the German air tree. It also has a role in air battles, and it could prove to be an efficient grinder if used there. As always, thanks for watching.